Hello guys, welcome to this video. In this video, I'll be trying to show you and uh, find out how you can uh, apply, how you can add the domain to your AdSense account uh, and fix this error. Uh, the title basically up in here is how to fix one error of AdSense saying your URL cannot contain a hosted partner. This is the problem that many of them face and sometimes they just don't know what to do. Right, you got two options uh, that I know. Um, one of the options is basically you can, uh, if you want, you can buy a domain. A domain costs no more than uh, one ninety nine. Sometimes you even ninety nine cent. Um, the one that I've used myself is this one, uh, namecheap.com. Basically, all you can do is just uh, grab a domain and then I, I'll connect. Uh, you can connect the assets. And as you can see now, I got a blog, and then I'm just gonna uh, view this URL, and you can see yourself that the ads are showing absolutely fine. Example. Uh, this is a blog that I have created, all right, and basically now the ads are showing uh, fine. And this is the second one that I also have created, and I added into AdSense, and the ads, as I mentioned again, it shows absolutely fine. So, uh, example, this is the option you may have a problem with AdSense when you try. I have added a new blog I just created now. Just to show you basically and have a look at, at the bottom you will see a message saying that url cannot be added url cannot be added as a site and this is the problem because of this is uh, a hosted domain from google and you need to have a, a personal domain uh, and i'm telling you in a first option also i'm going to go to the second option in a minute and show you that as well that's how you can use even blogspot and apply for adsense but it's going to be um, less option or a bit harder to get AdSense account. However, you can still apply using the Blogspot. So again, as I mentioned, option one is you, all you do is buy one domain. You can buy anywhere the domain if you want to, but I recommend you this one because I've used myself. I never had any issues. It just works perfect and it's cheap as well, all that. And then all you to do is just connect the domain with, uh, you, you know, this... Um, domain you buy from Namecheap, just connect it with uh, your blog and you are all done. To connect it with the blog is not very hard. If I go to uh, Blogger, I have created another video, so if you check out the other videos, basically one of them, it does show you how to connect uh, Namecheap.com with your Blogspot. So um, all you have to do is just you go to the settings. And then uh, we can go to other. So we are into basic, and here is when you have you you can set up a third-party URL, which means the connection will start from here. Example, you start there, and you put the domain name. In this case, basically, you just go the domain name you have bought it from. Uh, example, the the hosting, and in this case, Namecheap. Uh, you add that here. Once you save it, basically, it's going to give you a couple of URLs that you need to go back and add into your Namecheap. Once you add that, it takes a couple of uh, minutes, sometimes a few hours for connection to take place. And then your website, instead of going to the, um, all right, I'll just go back. Instead of going to the blog spot, which you have, I'm just going to cancel the example to URL, which is, uh, you know, url.com forward slash then blogspot.com. Uh, it will take you directly to the domain. Uh, then what you do is come up to the blog, fill up with the content. And then user will always go to the URL um, with .com that you bought instead of going to blogspot.com. So this is the, the key. And then go to AdSense. And instead of blogspot, example, I'm going to add here .com. Uh, and then once you click on next, it's going to work. Example, I click on next. It does work. Now it says implement the code into your blog or to your website. So in this case, this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to copy all of it. Uh, you go to your blogger blog. In this case, I'll just go right. Uh, we're going to have to go to theme. Then you go to edit HTML. And then just hit CTRL in your keyboard and then F to find. And just put a um, bracket, then head like that. And just hit enter. Uh, example, you can see in here on the right hand side. And then we need to hit enter. Once you hit enter, it's going to highlight and tell you this is the head. So now what you do is just 
go a bit down, hit enter a few times, one, two times maximum. Should take, uh, you don't need more. And then just paste it. So you can paste or hit Control V and then again paste. You paste the code and just click on Save Theme. And that's it, you are done. So now, uh, what the Google will do will review your uh, website. In this case, it's not going to show us a blog spot, but it's going to show us a website like this example. And then once um, you know you have a good content, this is uh, then the ads will start showing. The main key here is to have AdSense account. Once you have AdSense account, um, most of the times your domains will be approved much faster than applying for the first time. So that's how you fix this problem. Uh, if you go in a question, you can comment below. I'll try to reply as soon as I can. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, please subscribe because I'll be uploading many more videos basically related to. Um, AdSense, making money online, design, and so many other things, basically. Thanks again for watching my video.